we're going to be changing the transmission fluid in this 2002 Toyota Camry. Now, even though the dipstick says, no need to replace ATF fluid under normal driving circumstances. So really what it's saying in the manual is you don't need to change your transmission fluid if you've been pulling or you do have to change it if you've been pulling a trailer and I don't think anyone's pulling a trailer or a camper with their Camry. So, so we've been changing the transmission fluid about every 30,000 miles even though the manufacturer says you never have to change it. Sounds like they probably just want you to buy a new car. The process is actually very easy to changing the transmission fluid. So all you need is two milk jugs, the actual Toyota type T4, we actually got this a pretty good deal online, and of course just a breaker bar to take out the little plug. Underneath the car on the transmission, we're going to take the plug out with a 10 millimeter Allen. So let's just put that in there. With a pan underneath, you can go ahead and remove this plug. It really just starts pouring all over the place. And right there we go. Wow, that looks pretty clean. Now we're gonna let this drain for a couple hours just to get everything out of the system. Now we let this drain overnight. So we got just about everything out of there. Now we're going to take the transmission fluid and pour it into a milk jug to figure out exactly how much we have. Overflow a little bit, so it's like about a gallon. So, this is a Harbor Freight little electronic torque wrench. So, let's set it to 30 foot pounds by pressing and holding on the I mean, pressing and holding on the plus. It starts moving up. I'm gonna take it to 36. A little too much. Down a little bit. There we go, 36. Now let's torque the plug. Now let's go ahead and put the plug in. And from our research, we have discovered that this is a 30 foot, 36 foot pound um, plug. Now let's go ahead and torque this up. And right there. And now that's torqued. So we drained out about a gallon of the transmission fluid. So that's four quarts. So let's add the four quarts and we might top it off a little bit because some might have just spilled out. Put the funnel in. Since our transmission funnel has been cut off too many times, we're going to just put a funnel in a funnel and start filling. You gotta watch both funnels to make sure that one doesn't overflow. And I let it go over a little bit too much, so I'll make sure not to do that next time. Here's the old stuff, and if we pour some of the new stuff in here, you can see there is definitely a little bit of a color change. With the car leveled, we're going to start the car and let it get up to operating temperature, then check the dipstick. Now go ahead and start up the car. While your foot is on the brake, shift it through the gears while the car is heating up, and that'll get the transmission fluid through everything. We'll check the dipstick once this gets up to operating temperature, which is just about halfway. Right now, the engine is cold and it would be lower down here, but as the engine warms up, you'll see it come up here into this range. 
And this dipstick is kind of weird, because this pad here has to face forward like this towards the engine whenever you put it in. If you put it in any other way, it won't go in. Just slide it in, make sure that seats. And now if we pull it out, you can see it's starting to rise up the stick. About right there. Now that it's up to operating temperature, let's check the dipstick. Take a look at what it is. Wipe it off. And be careful of the hot pipes all around it. You don't want to burn yourself. And looks like we need to add a little more. Whenever you add more transmission fluid to top it off, only add it in very small amounts. Now let's check it. And make sure to take your time because you do not want to overfill it. And it looks like that is a lot better. Sometimes it's hard to tell where the level of the fluid is on the stick. Sometimes if you flip it around, you can tell the level a little better, and it looks like we need a little bit more. Now it is pretty difficult to tell where the level is, but just look for a straight line, and that is where your level will be. And this looks like it's right in the correct spot. In order to get a good deal on this transmission fluid from Toyota, we had to buy the whole case. And now we're ready for next time, and I think you can tell it's a pretty good idea to change it every 30,000 miles. So I hope this video is useful. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.